Redskins have taken out now. Well, holy. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, look like they're trying to cook YNW Mel. If you guys don't know, basically, uh, the prosecutors came back with a lot of stuff in the last couple months. They say, yo, we got 66 pages of DNA. Basically, we're trying to get his, his ex-girlfriend, his ex-girlfriend mama. They're trying to get every and anybody to basically testify against YNW Melly. Some people have gotten out of Dodge, okay? They're even trying to get the cameraman that they could try to get some footage or get him to say he saw something or he heard something. Basically, they want somebody to snitch on YNW Melly, okay? Now, they actually just added another witness to their list, and apparently it's police detective Christopher Williams. Now, y'all might not who, know who that is, and don't really matter what his name is. The prosecutor is going to be calling on this detective to basically recreate the crime scene in court. And when they do that, it's going to paint a very graphic and gory image. Now, this is going to be very important because if you're a juror, right, if you're, you got to imagine these are probably not fans of YNW Melly. And if somebody paints a very maniacal, premeditated killer who's a psychopath who literally shot his best friend and had the gun eight inches away from the dude's head and basically fired off a bunch of shots, then came up with a master plan on how to cover it all while they're on the side of a road. Basically, they're trying to say this guy is like, this guy is insane. We got to kill him. Now, apparently Christopher Williams will be more than likely called as an expert witness. He's going to be saying that Melly shot in the car and he did kill both of his friends okay they're also going to be saying that looking at the blood splatter looking at the angle of the bullet holes and and the gunshot wounds it appears the shooter was seated in the back seat behind the driver exactly where ynw melly got in the car okay they're gonna make a case that there is no possible other way it could have been another shooter and also they're gonna make a case that the story that they told the cops later that they were in a drive-by was all capped okay they're saying that the gun was fired no more than eight inches from the victim's face and they're basically saying yo you should give this guy the death penalty now of course you know inw melly his lawyers don't want this guy to testify because this guy did a lot of investigating on the case and they're probably trying to say hey this guy is testifying to too much opinion and also his opinion might be swayed by the fact that melly has certain songs he's a popular guy also, some people feel like the cops have been out for him for a while, okay? Now, this is going to be very, very important because Melly is either going to go down like TK or he's going to beat the case and be the biggest rapper in the world. You got to imagine, if he beat this case, he's the biggest rapper in the world. And if he doesn't beat this case, at that point, he's fighting death, okay? He's on some Aaron Hernandez stuff, okay? We got to be honest, right? And um, honestly, uh, man... It's hard to objectively look at this case because I'm a huge fan. And that's what I could say. Okay. Get a comment box. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe. What do you guys think about this? The detective that worked the majority of the case will be showing up in court to recreate the scene and pretty much give expert testimony to basically said that Melly shot a dude eight inches from his head um, with a gun and basically killed the other guy, shot a bunch of time to make sure they were dead, and then planned a cleanup. Wow. What do you guys think about this? Do you think this is truth or do you think it's all cap? Y'all let me know. Get in the comments. Make sure you guys like them. Subscribe to the channel. Oh.